All right. Well, let's go ahead and talk about stuff. All right. So, um, if you're anything like me, and I know I am, I try to eat healthy. All right. And I'm sure a lot of you do too. Um, is just what constitutes healthy? Is it protein, Franken food like Quest bars, Quest chips, or is it fake energy like bees? Or do you stick solely to whole foods like avocados? Shit like that. It's harder than it seems, especially when junk food and processed food and franken foods are so much fucking cheaper than their whole food equivalents. Like, I'd much rather have just a diet of steak, eggs, and avocado than one that's supplemented by bulletproof products and uh, other shit like that, like uh, Quest Bars just to hit some arbitrary macros that were set up by an online calculator that doesn't take anything into account. But, I have limited funds. Although I do make good money, I still have three other people to take care of other than myself. And I'm not going to put my kids on keto. I mean, my kids eat fairly healthfully when they're not with their grandmother. But, still... I don't think kids need to be on a ketogenic diet. It's just not necessary. First of all, a ketogenic diet was originally formulated for kids with epilepsy. Well, my kids don't have fucking epilepsy, so they don't need to be on a fucking ketogenic diet. Now, the side effects of the ketogenic diet, weight loss, and cognitive function, stuff like that, is great. I mean, my kids aren't fat but I guess cognitive function is good for anybody. It really is. But whatever. Um, but I do have them eat as much whole foods as possible. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's not feasible. Sometimes a kid has to be a kid and eat macaroni and cheese and eat fucking cake. And people have to understand that. It's not bad parenting if your kid occasionally has junk food. It's just not. It's actually kind of really unhealthy to think that way. That you're a bad parent if you let your kid have some candy on Halloween. As long as you're not letting your kid gorge nightly on sugar and processed bullshit franken foods, you're doing a good job. Life's stressful. Raising kids is stressful. Balancing a full-time plus job and raising kids is stressful. You had to take care of yourself. You had to take care of your spouse. You had to take care of your kids. You had to take care of your job. You had to take care of everything. So don't let it get overwhelming. Do the best you can. Don't let perfect be the enemy of good. It's detrimental. It, every, just, God, stop. Stop. Stop worrying. Don't feed your kids a constant diet of shit, and don't eat a constant diet of shit yourself. That's all there is to it. If you're a ketogenic like I am, that's fine. That's good. It's good for you. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt your kids if you have them on that fucking diet. But, let you know, it's not necessary. Although, it can be argued that a ketogenic uh, metabolic state is the default human one. It's not the only one that we can survive off of. Other people get, get by fine on a diet of sweet potatoes and fucking rice. And fish. Don't forget that part. But, whatever. So, stop worrying so much. Stop. You're not going to be a bad parent if your kid has a Tootsie Roll. People are fucking retarded. It's sad. It's sad that you're letting yourself be 
conditioned to one size fits all. There's no reason for it. There's no fucking reason. I wish you would realize that. <laughs>